Life goes unnoticed all around us simply because we don't look closely enough. On Jar Planet, we bring nature indoors by putting life inside a jar just like this one. This is a sealed, self-sustaining ecosystem that I made from the Guadalupe River in New Braunfels, Texas. The Guadalupe is full of life that we would never be able to appreciate without our jar. If you would like to see a video where I show how to make an ecosphere, I'll put a link in the top right. When I make a new ecosphere, I always start by adding sediment. Sediment contains the necessary bacteria to start off our ecosphere. Next, I look for any kind of plant, moss, algae, sticks, or rocks to add to the jar. Aquatic plants and algae absorb excess nutrients and also release oxygen. This is a common aquatic plant in Texas called Ludwigia repens. I've used them in several of my other ecospheres. This plant is commonly sold at aquarium stores around the world. Lastly, I'll fill the jar with water and seal it up. After I seal the jar, I try not to ever open it again. When I first bring the jar home, it's normal for it to be cloudy for a few days. Already, we can see how full of life this jar is. If you are able to identify any of the life in our jar, please let us know in the comments. Not every ecosphere is a success. When a new ecosphere is made, the food chain is unstable. The first month of an ecosphere's life will determine if it will be a success or a failure. This ecosphere is still very young and has a lot of developing left to do. I try my best to post updates on our Instagram. You can find us at jar underscore planet. If you're enjoying this project, be sure to subscribe. We post videos just like this every week on Jar Planet. I've noticed around three species of snails in our ecosphere. I'm genuinely surprised how colorful this one is. One of my favorite organisms to find is a hydra. This is my first time to catch a green one. They use their long tentacles to grab prey out of the water. Something else that surprised me was this strange looking stick, which is actually alive. I haven't seen anything like it before. With every ecosphere I make, I find new life I've never seen before. This keeps me excited to make new ecospheres everywhere I can. After 20 days, the ecosphere is still alive. I'm excited to see what else it has in store. If you like this video, I know you'll like this one next.